My name is Nathan Gorley. I just put out an album of tunes with Laura Federson. It's called Life is All Checkered. I'm going to play a set of reels here. What name? I was trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, Lucy Campbell's and Kid O'Connor's, I think, are the first Lovely. to start with. That's very sweet, beautiful playing Thanks. from a from a Wisconsin native. And that's the one. Tell me about Wisconsin. It it, it all has occurred to me that in out of the way places like that, sessions are, are very hard to come by of any kind of a decent quality. They How are. do you improve? Uh, lots of festivals, lots of festivals. It's, it's not too far away from Chicago, and Liz Carroll would come by every once in a while and give us some lessons. So that was really helpful. Um, there's a big festival in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, called the. Irish Fest. Yeah, the Irish Fest. Giant biggest festival. Yeah. Giant person gathering of mostly rock musicians, and then there's a small group of traditional musicians off in the corner, <laughs> right. paying no attention to the other seventy thousand people. And, I see. But there's great festival. There's great uh, sessions all night there. And right. And who initially would have been your your first teacher, or how how did you how did you get on the merry go round, the fiddle merry go round? It's a good question. Um, you know, I went to the Festival of American Fiddle Tunes when I was like eight years old, and I think um, Martin Hayes was the teacher for that week. You know, it's a week-long festival, mm. and uh, so it was like Martin Hayes was there one year, Liz Carroll was there another year, and um, Brendan McGlinchey, no, Brendan wasn't there, um, Brendan Mulvihill uh, from, right. from yeah. Baltimore was around too. And so, I never, but I never had a weekly teacher, mm. unfortunately. <laughs> All right, but you, you had some kind of a, an element of a teacher in the family. Tell me about that. Kind of, yeah. My dad, my dad's a great fiddle player. Uh, he doesn't play Irish music. He plays old time and other types of music like that. Um, and he always really wanted me to play fiddle a lot. I have these pictures of me when I was like three years old. Incredible pictures of me the first time that I got to hold a real fiddle. It was my first fiddle. It was like you know this big, All right? The sixteenth or something. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> so I, he, you know, he took me to Suzuki lessons all the time, and he made me practice. And back then it wasn't always really fun. And he had me mm. playing classical music, and 
different types of music, and I, I would always just want to practice Irish stuff. All right. And, and I, where did the Irish come from then? I just, he had CDs. At that er of oh, he had CDs. Type, you know, and do you remember any of those early CDs that really grabbed yeah, you and said, my God. Honestly, I mean, it was like the stuff we got at festivals, so like Liz Carroll and Martin Hayes. And, sure. But he had, a, he had a Tommy Peoples CD as well. He had the Iron Man. And oh, lovely. That got played Dottie Sproul, instantly, yeah. 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 So that, that was, I, mean, I, I memorized that before I memorized anything else, I think. Right. But, uh... Yeah, he had some other stuff too, um, some Doherty stuff, some Johnny Doherty yeah. things. Yeah, good, okay. Uh, we were just talking earlier and you, you were talking about the fact that your father maybe advances himself with you, with you because he would have loved to be in a full-time fiddler <laughs> and yeah. his doctor, uh, doctor practice or whatever he does, yeah, kind yeah. of intervened. Yeah. So maybe he, he sees himself in you. Yeah, yeah, he's... He's definitely living vicariously <laughs> at this moment in time. <laughs> All right. But my parents are both very supportive. So. Oh, good, good. Well, that's important. So you went from Wisconsin, you moved all over the place, you went to Minneapolis and Boston, so you're, you're ensconced in Boston now. Yeah, happily ensconced. There's eight feet of snow on the ground in Boston at the moment. Heard about that, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a couple more, but I live with a great Ellen Piper named Joey Barda. And I live right down the street from Laura Federson, so right. it's really nice. And is she from Boston originally? Uh, she's not. from. She's from Bloomington, Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, and she went to college in Halifax. And in Nova Scotia. Was yeah. that where she picked up fiddling? That's, well, yeah, well, she, uh, there were a few, influence. there was a nice session scene there, I think. Good. And she made some good friends that played music there as well. And, and uh, then she moved to New York for seven years, and she was, she played all the time in New York. Right. Sessions with Tony DeMarco. Oh, Tony. And we know yeah. Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Tony was in here. He, he did this video before. A lovely man. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was listening to Reddy the Grail to the, the other night on a way out to a Canes gig in Kilkishan. And I heard uh, Nathan Gourley being introduced to Asquelga with Pedro Arida. Oh, yeah. It, didn't, it, it never occurred to me that you were actually in that competition. <laughs> how, how did that go? Like you were in that elevated company. That was great. Yeah, there were loads of amazing fiddle players there. Right. Tonight. So, and six Americans, we were proud yeah. to represent. <laughs> six out of how many altogether? Fifteen. That was amazing. Yeah. And who who won it? Daryl Curtin from Brosnan. Yeah, gorgeous. Right. Young fiddle player. Amazing. The good money was on you, seemingly. <laughs> <laughs> I was banking on Devin Shepard. He's been, he's so he's like he's from Chicago, which is only a six-hour drive away from Minneapolis. Sure, they're right next to each other. Right. And I used to listen to him all the time. I mean, mm. he's only a few years older than me, but. <clears throat> When I, uh, after college, I heard him play for the first time, and, you know, it's just like listening right. to the angels sing. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's totally ridiculous. Yeah. Talented, so. I know. And is that a kind of a terrifying episode, to be in a situation like that? You know, I mean, with, with, with Padre Rita there, kind of staring down at you. <laughs> speaking all in Irish, and the only thing you understand is your name. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> or the stage. They were the second set, you know, they get to pick the second set. Sure. And so he talks, to the, he talks to the adjudicators a bunch, and... Then eventually they say something to him, and then he says something back, and then eventually he looks at me and goes, "The stage." Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so you've no earphones on with translations. Right. No, he's no that's very thoughtless of them, isn't it? Right. <laughs> okay, but I'd say it was a lovely experience. Yeah, it was really fun. Was yeah, yeah. They treated us great too. They put us up in the hotel for the weekend. And Good. We um, <clears throat> there was a great photo shoot the day, day earlier that day. So. Right. Good. And how did you hear about that? Uh, um, well, so since this is the fifth year, I remember watching it four years ago when, when Devin and Heather uh, Comolin both right. competed in it then. So we knew about it. They, and they, that year, they didn't tell anybody. Because, you know, the more people that enter it, the fewer people would potentially uh, be able to be finalists. So All right, okay. It was kind of in your interest not to tell your I know, I know. Friends that are really good <laughs> better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how was it determined, okay, you, you put your name forward and surely there's a filtering system. Yeah. So, so how, how, how are the other people filtered out? <laughs> so you, sub you submit five tracks online and they're anonymously given to the judges. They just title everything by number. Right. And <clears throat> however many contestants, contestants there are, they give those to the judges and the judges rank their favorite 15. Fair enough. And then they combine those three, there's three different judges, they combine mm. those, and then those are the 15. Right. Lists, okay, so you got through. Would you do that again? Or yeah, is it totally. Once? Yeah. Oh, good. And have well, you I ever... Don't know, they do fiddle every four years, so I don't know if I'll do it again. All right, four years, four years <laughs> time, yeah. And did you ever compete in Flana at all? Not really. Not, no interest in it? No, I did the Sean Arita, or sorry, the um, Fiddler of Dooney in 2013. Yeah. Because Boston had a... 
Boston had a competition and the winner got a free trip to Ireland to oh, compete lovely. in the Fiddler of Dooney. And it was at the exact same time when I was planning on going anyway. Sure. So, <laughs> okay. And it was a great competition. I'm really glad I did it. It was. Yeah. Uh, Dylan Foley, they had another one in, in, uh, Dylan, yeah, no, in Dylan, New York. And yeah. Dylan did a great job there. And I always get the impression looking at you when you come in, why don't you come over and live here for two or three years? Because you, you must love Ennis too. What do you like about Ennis? Um, there's just music everywhere. Sorry. That's <coughs> kind of freaking out right now. You're okay. <laughs> um, Ennis, I mean, the, the density of music in Ennis is something that's unrivaled anywhere else I've, right. I've seen. I mean, I spent three months in Dublin. And I love Dublin, mm. and I, I hope to someday move to Dublin because I'm, I work in software and it would be... I don't have a passport, it's the real reason I'm not here. Oh, I see, <laughs> you know, I no Irish ancestral yeah. gene, so no. Have, have you any kind of genetic uh, A tiny bit, connection? yeah. Gorley is a name that, it's a Scottish name, it's yeah. a Scotch-Irish name, and there, there was, they, we traced my ancestry back from Scotland to Ireland, right. and then over. Gorley. So there were a few generations that were in Ireland, so... Yeah, okay, so welcome home. <laughs> That's, that's good <laughs> All right, Nathan, listen, thanks a lot for coming in. I really appreciate it and best of luck with the album. And yeah. say hello to Laura. I will. Thanks for having me. Good luck. <laughs>